Hey guys, welcome to my first official Midori book flip through. So these are just the same as my field notes except I've turned it into a bullet journal now instead of just a kind of daily everything. So I think I actually have more drawings in these. Let's get into it. So today I'm going to do um, just one month's worth for these books because there's quite a few pages and I do it pretty much every day. So this will be for July 2023. So here on the cover, I've just decorated it with some stickers I had. I like to choose a color theme for my uh, the front of my book. So this was pink. And um, I always do black as well because then I can print out uh, images from my faux memo printer because then I can add some really fun stuff. So here I printed out more things with my faux memo and I just stuck them on the front here. So I started this July 9th. This was my first bullet journal. So I just added my intentions at the front here. The organized, productive, mindful practice, creative outlet encouraged me to carry book around everywhere, place to stick photos of daily stuff. And then I just put a little legend here to help me. So I've got my index. And then this was my first monthly spread. So I did it this way first. I actually switched it in my new books, but I thought it was fun to do it this way. So there was a lot happening this month because this was the month I got married. So I really needed to keep track of everything that was going on. And this was August, my future log, my weekly log. This is the only book I did weekly log in because um, I really needed to know what I was doing every single week because of my wedding. I don't really do them now. Every so often I need something like this, but it was very helpful for wedding stuff. Lots of to-dos. So this is my food tracker. I wanted to see which foods I felt uh, good with, ones I felt bad with because I have a lot of food sensitivities and I would eat something and then feel terrible and I really didn't want to feel terrible right before my wedding. So I put blue is good, um, yellow is kind of medium, pink is sort of bad, and purple is bad. So. I just saw a lot of patterns with them. Some days something tasted seemed fine, some days it seemed um, not so great. So that was that. And then these were my habits. And then I just wrote a little food reflection afterwards just to summarize the foods that I felt good with, things I felt bad with. More food reflection, then I put in a little chart <laughs> yeah, I was. I really wanted to be careful this month because I wanted to eat like a couple weeks out from my wedding, just stuff that I knew would make me feel good. And mood tracker. I tried that out. I do like doing mood tracker because then you can kind of see the days that um, are actually good when you kind of look back and think maybe it's been bad for a while. And then this was my T rating. So all the teas I tried, I just rated them. All of these are five stars. So yeah, this one's amazing though. And then I, this was a tea I got um, from my pen pal. And um, it wasn't like the best tea ever, but I really liked it. So I gave it uh, three and a half, or three and three quarter stars. And then here we have some book reviews. I read Harry Potter, first one. Uh, obviously five stars. Also re read the bullet journal, which is why I made this bullet journal. Also super good. Five stars. I add this little like progress bar because sometimes I don't always finish the book and sometimes I don't finish it while I'm working in a specific book. So these ones I finished. It was nice. Um, this one I started but I didn't finish it. And then I went back to Harry Potter and I read it. Uh, How to Win Friends and Influence People, <laughs> such a good book. Um, I gave it a four and a half stars because it was a slower read. It wasn't like Bullet Journal where I just devoured it. Um, the Iron Raven, I started reading this, but 
I don't know, I got kind of bored. Maybe I just wasn't in the right mood for it, but... So I only got part way in. I haven't even rated it. Oops. Probably because I didn't finish it. <laughs> and then I had bought The Never Ending Story. I'm probably like somewhere around here now. So I'm reading this pretty slowly, but it's really good. Uh, questions for the wedding. Wedding schedule. Communication between Sam and I. Just like things that we learn about each other for ourselves. There's a lot of wedding stuff in here. Uh, house stuff that we needed to buy. Yes, still need a bunch of those things. Alright, so now we're going to start the daily logs, which is basically what I do in field notes. So this was like a little chart to show what I did that day. <laughs> Bullet journal took up a good chunk. Um, practice dancing. Oh, yeah, I did bull bullet journal here and there. Sleep, read. Uh, foods I ate that day. Sam and I practiced our wedding dance, and uh, that was him taking a break in the middle of it. So that was cute. And then uh, I had a headache this day, so I just wrote all the things that I tried to get rid of my headache. Sencha tea, ginger, rose bloom. Um, took a muscle relax pill. Um, and then my headache went away after that, but then it came back, so I don't know if it was stress or posture. Yes. Um, I think this was like when my period was coming up, which makes sense. I think I just get headaches around my period, because I've noticed them quite a bit lately. Um, and then I used to draw all the tea that I had in a day, which I think is really fun. I should go back to doing that. Then I just wrote some things I'm looking forward to, just a kind of grateful list. I was very excited because we're buying this place that I'm in currently. Um, yeah, I definitely didn't feel like doing anything that day, but wedding was coming up, so I was feeling the pressure to get stuff done. But I think I just kind of took a day. It's, I did some stuff, but not as much as I had planned. Yeah, wedding juggling, kind of want to just crawl in bed, but I need to teach at five. Uh, and then I guess the next day was my last work day before I was off for two weeks for the wedding. Yep, period arrived, not pleased. Uh, oh, I didn't go to work the next day because cramps were really bad. Yeah. Every so often that happens, I get it really bad. I think it was on my way to work and I was like, oh, no. This was from my uh, best friend's uh, baby shower, or no, baptism. Yeah, so I came. I didn't make it for the actual baptism because I had to work, I believe. Yeah, because that was from a couple days before. But here's some photos of her family with her baby. And this was a photo of me and my roommate at the time, her cat, Sally. And uh, I, w I used to take photos of us cuddling all the time because she is very picky with her cuddles. So when I got the cuddles, I felt really good. Uh, that morning, the dog upstairs would not shut up. That dog drove me insane. He would just hear something outside, and when his owner was gone, he would just bark, bark, bark forever. So, wasn't pleased. Uh, this is me getting into... A uh, trip that Sam and I went on it was a business trip and yeah I just practiced all these poses I love this page um, just to practice different poses but also kind of get out period feelings um, yeah I wrote I'm not sure why but being on my period makes me want to draw about it fun poses self-expression so I was nervous about this trip because I was on my period so I just kind of felt like, let's see how this goes. And then this was the first day, like flying into Edmonton, a photo at the airport. It's really cute. Um, foods that we ate. The first day and the whole trip actually went really well. I think getting away from all the to-dos I had to do um, for the wedding was very helpful. And I like went through the bullet journal book so hard at this time and it was I was so into it it was great so this was <laughs> we we had booked um hotel but for some reason they didn't have our booking 
So we went to this other place beside it and it was a little sketchy. So here's Sam um, on the sketchy bed. This was hilarious because he made toast, but he set off the uh, fire alarm in the building. And so I went upstairs and then the fire alarm went off. So I had to go outside and then I find out that it, somebody just set it off because of breakfast and it was him. So good. Uh, this is when I told Sam to turn right onto a one-way street. So uh, I lost my direction given, giving privileges. Uh, I wrote that I'm forced to sit and drink my booster juice with no responsibilities. So that was great. Um, there was like a lot of smoke outside. So I was glad because it rained and that took away some of the smoke. Here's my water counter for the day and my air quality. Um, that was the day before and that day. We went for a little drive before the event and we saw this uh, deer just in people's yards eating their flowers. It was super funny. So we took a photo of it. Um, there, the tea at the event we went to was the worst. It was like probably the worst tea I've ever had. And I should have known because when I asked them about the tea, they were like, Oh, tea. Yeah, I think we have tea somewhere. So, not a good sign. Uh, this was one of the, our friends who was at the event with us. So, we happened to see her in the morning and we had breakfast together and had some fun times. That was really cute. And this was uh, on the plane ride back and I just kind of wrote about how it, I was really thankful to get away and just like detox from all the wedding stuff because <laughs> for the, our wedding like we did all the decorating ourselves um, and even afterwards like we took it down so it was we were very lucky we got the location for free from his family but with that comes all the setup so this was weekly plan back into wedding stuff um, it was really cute it's like looks like the cat's coming out of the page um, yeah, here's a little key. This was the signs I had to make. I remember not wanting to do those signs, but I was like, no, get it done, you got this. Um, I needed to buy a planter for the fake plant I bought for decoration for the wedding. I don't think I ever did, but it's okay, we made it pretty anyways. This was testing out some decorations. There's my friend Kristen, so cute, modeling for me. And this was a test of the uh, rounds. Um, and a bunch of stickers. I think the day before, I think I had a bit of a meltdown. Yeah, with Sam, a lot of emotions. Like not only were we getting married, but we were also looking to buy a place and we were running out of time before the wedding. And I didn't want after the wedding to just be stuck in different places or like, not with my stuff, so it was it was very stressful, but it all worked out. And then our Sam's work uh, is gifted us some flooring. So even before we got married, like the week before, we uh, changed some of the floors in our place. So yeah, it was a lot. Um, I dyed my hair before the wedding, so it'd be nice and red. Obviously, you can't see the red um, from here, but uh, this was Sam and some of his friends and his dad helping install the floors and I came around and I started cleaning took some photos of them um, moving day yeah this was a really sweet note that Sam left at the new place so I didn't see it I think for a few days <laughs> funny um, and then I think this was, yeah, a few days before the wedding, we ended up playing Parks. I don't know if you've played Parks, but it is a great game. Um, and this was how I arranged my tokens, and this was how Sam arranged his tokens. And I remember just really needing that time because I hadn't seen Sam very much in terms of just time for the two of us. Um, it was more just like things that had to get done. So having an actual, like, hang out where we played a game together it was so nice so yeah and I just put all the photos of the expansions and stuff I wanted but <laughs> this was Sam tired after all the uh, stuff that we had to do and stuff I need to pack for uh, wedding day 
uh, here's some photos from the setup. This was our amazing wedding coordinator who is just incredible, saved my life. Uh, my phone ran out of data because we didn't have internet here and it was just like the worst time to run out of data before my wedding because I had to contact people all the time. Anyways, we, we got more but this is my friend Sarah. She came from Portland and she was helping us decorate so she a funny photo and uh, Kristen with her baby. I was very exhausted at this point. Like right about to have a meltdown. <laughs> Speech stuff. Uh, wedding day. I was planning on putting a whole bunch of photos um, on here. These were photos that other people had sent me before we got our actual photos. So, um, yes, that was nice. Uh, this was on our little mini honeymoon. Oh, nope, just kidding. <laughs> that is August, I believe. Yeah, so I'll go into that next video. And then um, this is just a reflection on July, what I liked, what I didn't like, things to change, etc. Yeah, so thanks so much for watching my first video. Second one, I will go into August.